Yo, what is up? So, we're here on Laundry Simulator right now, okay? And I'm gonna be making this because there's so many people have been asking me, how do I complete the journal, all right? Can you make a video how to complete the journal? And I'm gonna be honest, it's quite like, it's very simple, but it just takes a long time to complete the journal. But one good way while it's here is obviously spin the wheel. You can get like the emerald cloves and the, the sapphire sweater, I think that was. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the journal. Um, hopefully this helps someone because I know a lot of people have been like asking me to do it. But before we get into it, make sure you leave a like, consider subscribing and yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Let's just get into this. So of course, you know, well, I, well, I should start off by going to the journal. If you leave not a journal is right, it's over here. So if you complete this, you get a mad, uh, I think it's called collector's basket. And the collector's basket is like the best basket in the game. It's OP. Your feet can hold like 50 cloves or something. Or oh, let me have a look. Uh, oh no, 150, sorry. Wow, I was way off. You can hold 150 cloves and it's just it's just really good. It's got auto pickup and everything. So, what you have to do to in order to get it is you need all of these cloves unlocked. So, I've actually completed it, right? So, all of these are highlighted for me. But if you open this and you haven't got the collector's basket, then some of these will be like grey. So this is a green shirt, it'll be grey because you haven't got it yet. But what you need to do is you need to get every single one of these. So the silver cloves, the golds, the emeralds, the rubies, the sapphires. You need to get one of every set. And that is how you do it, right? So the problem with this is, of course, you're going to finish the golds and the silvers pretty quickly. You're going to do that very quick. And then you're going to be left with the emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. And now this part, the emeralds, rubies, and sapphires, this part takes the longest. Because obviously, you know, they're rarer to get. There is a few things that you can do to speed up the process, of course. You know, and that would include, like, getting all the airdrops when they come. Airdrops is literally the most op thing they've added to the game. And if you want the collector's basket, then, uh you want to get the airdrops okay because you can get like four or five bits of cloves that you need for the journal out of like one crate if you're lucky um but, and also another tip that i haven't even mentioned before is when the airdrop comes obviously it's not here right now so it's kind of hard but just try and imagine the crates are falling down what happens is it's because the plane is traveling that way the first airdrop is here right and it drops first. So this side, all the way to the left, this airdrop over here is gonna fall first. Okay, and then while, while, uh, whilst you're looting this one, this one would then have only just dropped. So then you wanna move over to this one and collect. And then the third one, then this one will drop and then you can collect that. So uh, that's basically the best way of getting as many cloves from the airdrop as possible. So yeah, this one drops, you can collect some of those, this one drops, collect some of those, and that one drops, collect some of those. It might need some practice because you do sort of need to absolutely spam click. I recommend like butterfly clicking. If you know what butterfly clicking is, it's like you use two fingers and you like tap the mouse and you can get a lot of clicks in. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much um, how to get like the most out of an airdrop. And an airdrop spawns every 45 minutes. I think 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So you sort of, you got to wait for the airdrop. Of course, you can spawn one in, but they cost Robux, 300 Robux. Wow, I didn't realize 300 Robux just to spawn in an airdrop. That's quite, I feel like you, you can get game passes for that. But, uh, but uh, yeah, every 45 minutes you can get one and it's all good another thing right before i move away from the airdrops is you need at least four people in your game so one two three and four so i have four people in my lobby which is good because some people what they do is they scroll down on the server list and they find a server with zero people right that's terrible because let me explain zero people means that you have no airdrops i'm pretty sure or yeah no i'm pretty sure that's how it works if you've got zero people well it's not it won't be zero because you'll be the person in it if you've only got one person in your lobby you an airdrop won't spawn because the way it's set up is you need at least four people in your lobby and because of that you know is because people will just be in private servers and then they'll just get all the airdrop loot to themselves and it'll be it'll be a bit op so the developers they've added it so you need at least four people in your lobby which is uh which makes sense another thing another thing oh i'm losing my voice uh spin the wheel right i just did spin the wheel 
Spin the wheel isn't the most op thing for getting these clothes that you need for the journal, but it still helps. You know, you still want to get out there and do the journal. Uh, no, you still, you still, <laughs> you still want to go out there, click the spin, and just, yeah, hopefully you get a, you, you know, a piece of clothing that you need, which I know it can be annoying, um, like, because you might have one piece of clothing left that you need, and you still can't get it, and then you'll probably get the same of multiple clothes. Ho hopefully that, that makes sense. But yeah, I think that's pretty much um, all of the different things. Well, actually, I haven't even explained this yet. So with this, right, when they throw a either emerald, ruby, or sapphire clothing, it will be like a distance. And also, you'll be able to see them walking in with it. So just pretend I'm like one of those people. I'll be walking in, and you'll be able to see the red, the green, or the blue flashing light walking up so you can actually sort of predict where they're going to throw the piece of clothing so if they're walking in you'll see like that basket i know there's no one there but just pretend that basket's got green in and then you can see you can be ready and then you go boom pick it up okay and also you know if you're like grinding obviously you can't always focus on like that area there'll, there'll be like an alert that pops up it's very quick and there's no sound when it comes but yeah, just look out for that. It will say like an emerald clothing spawned, ruby, sapphire. And gold and silver, there's not an alert because they're not very, uh, they're very common. So yeah. Uh, another thing I want to quickly say is because I feel like I skipped over that bit is over here, right? The emerald, ruby and sapphire clothing. It will get to a point where you'll have like one left. And this part, it takes a while. So for example, if I was saying this sock, the ruby sock okay i've got everything else done but i just need this sock it's gonna take a while to get that last bit because of course you're gonna be getting duplicates so that you're probably gonna get a green shirt you know the the blue towel blue sock green sock <laughs> the, you know the game will probably troll you you probably need the ruby sock you'll be getting the green sock and the blue sock like five times that just me that happened uh but yeah you just gotta stick with it you gotta be patient all right i know it takes a while but Honestly, it's worth it. And if you don't know, this is what the collector's basket looked like. Looked like um, it's sort of rainbow color, which is pretty cool. Which makes sense, you know, because all of the different color clothing is going into this. So you know, you got like the sapphire, the the red, the the yellow. It's all good. And let me go show you where to buy it. So once you've completed the journal, you want to walk over to the shop, right? You want to click. Oh no, you don't even need to click. You just walk onto it, and then up here on the top, baskets, and then. You'll probably spawn here because it's the default one. You just want to scroll over to the right, and it's all the way at the end. And oh, there's more baskets than I thought there was. And then yeah, it's right on the end, next to the golden basket and the rainbow basket. And of course, you know it's zero because you can't buy it. You have to unlock all that stuff. 150 capacity, zero grab time. So zero grab time. Wait, what's the default one? Apparently there's zero grab time. I didn't even know that. Oh, N-A? Oh, wait, what? That says N-A. This is 1.3 seconds. So this one, this green basket is 1.3 seconds grab time. Wait, that's really slow. So you can pick up a piece of clothing every 1.3 seconds. So imagine, imagine going over to a piece of clothing. All right, one, one, one. That would be that would be such a pain to do. I forgot that there was actually even a, a time like that. Another thing with the uh, the collector's basket is you do actually auto pick up. You don't even need to collect. But I recommend you click anyway, be just because it speeds it up. I'll show you once this this twenty seconds over. Uh, yeah, you can like auto pick stuff up by just running on it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think there is a way. Yeah, if you click this button down here on the bottom left. This magnet, the auto, it disables the, the auto pickup, but it can be good if, uh, you know, you want to pick up clothes faster. But yeah, let me just show this before I, I end this end this video off, right? Boom. So I'm not even clicking, like my mouse is up here, right? And I'm picking up stuff. Obviously, it's very slow, but uh, I'm guessing if you're on mobile, this could actually be very helpful because how does mobile work? Like, do you need to tap your screen to pick up the clothes or just hold it down? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, hopefully this has helped someone.
because I know a lot of people have been asking how to get how to complete the journal so yeah hopefully this has helped